Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 12th, 13th, and 14th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Libras. Hello, my Libras. Hope all is doing just wonderful for you. Fabulous. Anyway, this is a short reading, so I just used my Dorian Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy, and this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like. Leave the rest. So anyway, let's see. Let's go cut, do this a couple times. Oh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut and go right into it. All down. Nothing is reversed. Let's see what we have for our Libras for this weekend. First card, Queen of Water. Now, water, of course, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, emotional fluidity. But this is the queen. This is the royalty. This is the one that, whether you're male or female out there, this, I'm feeling very much, this is the royalty, the person that's in charge. Now, is this meaning that you're in charge of your own emotions? It could be, or is it meaning that you're, you know, I just feel like there's a an uh, um, an energy of being in charge, of being royalty, of being looked at and like, whoa, whoa, you are the queen or the king. It doesn't say, but you are, you know, you are the royalty. Okay, so let's see what this actually says for my Libras. Tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. So it is very much a, you know, it is very much a maternal type of energy. It is very much a royal, it's like matriarchal. And again, this is male or female, but it's like, so if you're a male Libra and you're going, well, how does that, it's like, how does that relate to me, Debbie? It's like, it's saying that you are going to be, I, I feel like, like I keep wanting to like sit up really, really straight on my throne for you, Libras. This is you on my throne and it's like you you are um you know basically saying here let me give let me give not of your money not of your money but of your emotions okay this is going to be the time where they're like you know they're like wow this is this is really you know you're just going to be like spreading the love you're going to be spreading the love but at the same time it is saying please remember to care for yourself too okay don't pull yourself too, too, you know, too thin, and then snap, okay? But let's see what we have here, the next card, and this one is the Ten of Water, okay? Again, it's that emotional, a contented and family, um, a contented and ward, rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met, trustworthy relationships. Again, it's this very, very um, giving, endowing, and said, yeah, endow, I endow upon you. It's like, I, you know, I, yeah, it, it, it's, and I, that word keeps coming. It's like you're being endowed. I, it, that's a word, right? Right. Yeah. I endow on you, but it, it's like you're giving, it would almost be like the empress. So I would not be surprised if we saw the empress. I don't know what the under this last, but it's like the, you know, the, the empress is the one that, you know, that provides and nurtures and, you know, and that the, the um, lands are fertile type of thing. And this is really on this though this is you being that you being this queen this on the emotional level okay you're doing it more on the emotional level you're spreading your love you're showing your love you're you're showing your um how your kindness and it, it, this is a wonderful wonderful energy for you for you my libras this is wonderful because there's been a lot of times where you've had that you know that <laughs> that it, it, not that you haven't shown your love, because you do that, but that you have felt, you know, under attack. So this is a time that you, because so for, in order for you to show your love, you have to have some feeling of being loved, okay? And that is what this energy is all about. So being loved and being appreciated. And, and because of that, you have to being the scales, being balanced. If you're feeling that, you then have to give that out, okay? That's that type. This is the type of energy that I'm feeling for you. Now, let's see what this last card says. And this last card is Seven of Fire. So we have our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. We have our passionate energy. 
Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. So, is there a little bit of here you're feeling really, really, you know, really at peace and really, you know, loving? And I do feel, again, I feel that queen, that royal entity. It's this royal entity that's standing up. And it's almost saying, too, it, this is what I, you know, it's like saying, you know, you have to love me on my own terms. You know, like I said, this queen, it's this very royal being. And again, this could be male or female, but it's this very royal being. And it's saying, I will love, and it's not being conditional. It's not that way at all. It's not conditional. You are given this love. And for you to, you know, for the love I'm feeling, it has to be reciprocal. But it comes down to, again, it must be on my terms. Does that make sense? I hope so. I hope so, because I really do like the energy, and I do like the strength. I love this, whatever this, whoever this queen is, you know, this, this energy, it's very strong, and it's very royal, but it knows its boundaries. It knows the boundaries that it will not let you pass. Not you, you know, Libra, but the people around you. You don't want to let, you know, it's like, I will, on my grounds, on, you know, you need to accept me on my terms. And then all will be well. I like that for you. So my Libras, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.